Okay, so hello folks, and welcome to my new video. In this video, I want to explain what or how you will master your first several days in Arc Survival Evolved Mobile. So this is the sort of general loading screen that you'll see when you start this game up. All the stuff on the lower left-hand corner you can ignore. The stuff on the upper right-hand corner you can ignore. Clicking on the big A in the lower right-hand corner doesn't do anything. Um, you don't need to watch that video. So the only two things that really matter are play arc and options. I'm going to start out by clicking on options. You don't need to change anything here. Click on controls. You don't need to change anything here. Video. So I recommend setting your video to the graphics quality of low or lowest, or uh, if you have resolution, set that to lowest. Uh, enable preserve battery mode. Um, you don't need recording. That's you, you don't need that. I don't know why they have that. You can record natively from your iPad or iPhone or whatever device you're using. I prefer uh, my iPad, but like, I mean, you can you can record, that, but you don't need the game to record for you. Show advanced stats. Make sure that's checked. I think that's not checked at the start. And show floating text. I think that's automatically checked. Click apply in the upper right. Click on audio. I, that's none of this matters. Um, and then click on cancel. Okay, now we're going to click on play arc. So I'm going to just go to single player. Um, you can also do play multiplayer. Um, this brings up a list of things. It'll bring up your, uh, so this is under multiplayer. It'll bring up your most recent games first. So in the lower right hand corner, you'll see a number of options you can choose. Um, so showing recents is very important to have checked because that way you don't lose which server you are playing on. Um, below that is game type. I generate, oh, and this notification is very annoying too, by the way. Um, I don't know why this shows up, but uh, once you click accept, um, I don't know why it's doing this, uh, but anyways, you just uh, click that. But when that shows up in game, um, that makes it so that you can't move, so you basically need to restart the entire app. So that's really annoying. They need to fix that eventually. But I'm just going to go back to um, multiplayer here. Um, difficulty... I just use easy because I play on multiplayer servers and having hard difficulty doesn't affect how hard it will be uh, versus other people because, you know, obviously you're playing against humans. So what really matters is whether or not you're on a good tribe. It just affects how vicious the creatures are and how hard it is to level up and I, I don't know. So I, I just choose easy. Region, NA, there's Europe as well. There's also Asia, or just back to NA. Okay, so now you want to click on... Uh, so upper left-hand corner, you'll see your username. Uh, go down a little bit. I'm just going to click on Medjoberry. You'll see it shows you a ping. Um, so that's very important. So if we click on this one slightly higher ping the lower the ping the better so like for instance gold has a ping of 36 milliseconds uh, versus strong which has a ping of 58 milliseconds um, another thing you want to pay close attention to is how many people are on these servers you notice many of the servers have very few people like hatch frame you, you know, while it may be enjoyable to play on a server that's PvP, which means that there's going to be tons of resources, if there's only eight people on the entire server, there's probably a reason there's only eight people, and that's probably 
that there's hackers or that the server is just boring or what there there's a ton of different reasons in general avoid servers with not that many people on them and instead go for a server like let's go down a little bit to cooking pot this has 18 people on it this is excellent so um i'll just load up cooking pot um i might have already joined it um looks like i did join it a while ago but so you'll see a screen uh like with a an account creation um and so uh once you create your character you'll decide where you can spawn so in the upper part of the map you'll see there's the hard area the this is hard as well hard as well this is medium this is medium this is medium this is medium that's medium that's easy oh that's another medium easy and easy so what i found is that the that this one don't go there. there there's nothing good that comes of going to this specific one don't go here don't go here don't go here don't go here um this one is very good to go to this one's good to go to don't go here don't go there don't go here this one's excellent and this one right here is also excellent so let's just spawn here so i really like north zone one hard and remember we're in pvp so just respawn random location there's a good chance you'll spawn right next to a t-rex which will immediately gobble you up so you're gonna spawn out um first thing you want to do is if you have free gifts click on it uh, this one's a parachute which is very useful double click on the parachute to move it to your hot bar um so now if you start falling off a cliff swipe to the right from the right hand side of the screen and click on parachute and it will activate if you're in the air spin the screen around by uh moving your thumb on the right hand side of the screen click on the left hand side of the screen to move forward uh, very simple controls swipe from from the right hand side of the screen to bring up your navigation kit this is going to take a lot of getting used to click on the little bullseye icon lower right hand corner of the screen to make it just a little bit bigger so it shows you're in um longitude which is the up and down thing of around uh what's that Thir or 28 and you're in the latitude of around 72 so you're around 28 comma 72. okay so we're just going to go forward a little bit um okay click on the hands to bring that back up you just want to kind of be generally familiar with where you are on the map so this is since it is the hard area i can tell you that right in front of where the camera is is an area with tons of very powerful monsters that will kill you uh, the little island you can see off in the very far distance not that little pile of rocks but the island in the far distance is a uh, herbivore island or herbivore island it basically i i don't really like going there because there's lots of monsters that try to kill you there and there's not very many good resources there um but anyways there's also on this very beach right here, there's some pearls that you can collect for making electronics later on. Uh, very useful. Okay, so now it gives you an opportunity to level up one of your stats. Click on that. Um, so I'm going to click level up. Um, when you're first starting out, you want to really make sure that you're leveling up your movement speed. And you also really want to level up your uh, weight and health. 
Those are the only ones you want to worry about. The other ones, don't worry about them. Okay, we're going to go back here. Uh, just run forward. Well, I guess I could level up something. Um, we'll just level up weight, I guess. And then health. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to run up here a little bit. Go up to a tree. And then just start punching the tree. Uh, you'll notice you're getting thatch and wood. Okay, good. Let's go up here a little bit more. Walk up to a plant. Wait for the plant to turn orange. Double click on the plant. And then you'll start collecting stuff. We're trying to get fiber. Find another plant. Double click. Start collecting stuff. You're also collecting food, which is going to be quite useful. Walk up to another plant. Get more stuff. Uh, let's go around here. You'll see raw, uh, that is, don't pick up eggs. The eggs will basically make whatever creature that dropped them come and start attacking you. However, if you are very low on health, uh, or like you haven't eaten anything, you're like starving, pick up the egg and eat it. Whatever dropped it will start coming after you to replenish your water, by the way. Just run into water and then run out of the water. Uh, and that'll make you get full on water again. Um, but yeah, eggs uh, heal a ton of like uh, food and stuff like that. So I'm going to just keep collecting this for the time being. Just right click and tap and then hold. And you will pick up anything you walk across right now. Um, which includes eggs. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that for the time being. Okay. Um, so you can also see your chat lower, uh, lower left-hand corner of the screen. Um, I'm just going to ignore that for now. I, I, I don't think I've found any stone yet. So click on your backpack upper left-hand corner of the screen. Click on the backpack again to bring it up. So this is what I've collected so far. Um, so we're going to need to find um, some stones here. So go back towards the beach. So interestingly, to move forward, you need to double click on the left hand side of the screen and push your thumb up a little bit to move forward. So we're running closer and closer towards the water. And let's just run along the water edge and try to find some stones. Um, stones are quite easy to find. Um, you just uh, just need to look for them. And right now, I've, I've been having tr real trouble finding... So okay, so here's a stone. Let's grab that. And we need to find another stone. Um, you also notice that I seem to be running a little slower. That's because I'm starting to get cold. And getting cold in this game is very damaging to you. Okay, so now let's gonna run back up here a little bit. Okay, you see that bird in the corner of the screen? Try to ignore those things, because they're gonna come after you, and they're really annoying when you're low level. Click on your backpack. Backpack again. Now, uh, let's go up to engrams, upper left-hand corner of the screen. You'll see those three little uh, hexagon things, or whatever shape that is. Okay, so you click on that, um, it brings up this. Um, you'll want to learn campfire, uh, so click on campfire, learn that. You'll want to learn sleeping bag. You'll want to learn stone hatchet. You'll want to learn cloth pants, cloth shirt and a uh, spear, uh, thatch foundation, water skin, you'll want. But anyways, okay, so now let's go back to backpack crafting. Um, so it looks like we can't make this yet. We need more thatch. But what I will make is I will make uh, some of this armor here, which uh, gives you protection against the cold weather as well. Um, so, this is super useful when you're first starting out. I'm gonna uh, start punching this tree here to get more thatch. Um, 
Okay, so I've got a uh, more thatch here. Um, now I'm gonna make a pickaxe. Go back to inventory, and then double click the pickaxe to move it to your hotbar. So now uh, we can swipe from the right hand side of the screen to select our pickaxe. Now you're gonna just run over to a rocks, double click on the rock, and now you'll start getting flint. Pickaxes are better at getting flint for you, and axes are better at getting rock for you. Pickaxes are also better at getting metal, which is very useful later in the game. I'm gonna go back to backpack, and then bring this up. And now to make a hatchet, we're gonna need more thatch. Fortunately, uh, pickaxes are also better at getting thatch from trees, whereas axes are better at getting wood from trees. That's good. Let's go back here. And now you can make the axe. You can also make a torch, which is really useful. Um, let's move the pickaxe to our hotbar. Let's click on the pickaxe, or the axe to our hotbar. Let's click on the pickaxe, click repair. These things wear out really quickly. Um, let's move the uh, torch over here. If you pull up the torch, it automatically lights up. So now it's easier to see at night. It does act as sort of a weapon you can use. Um, but yeah, let's just run up the hillside a little bit here. Um, I'm just waiting. Okay, perfect. Okay, you see your stomach is starting to grumble. So now click on backpack. Um, go back here. Let's just click on these blueberries here and just spam eat these here. You want to be careful, though, um, that you don't eat your narco berries because these make you sleepy. You notice now the screen is a little uh, purple around the corners. If you eat too many of them, they'll put you to sleep. Let's go back to our hands here. Uh, just start collecting more of this. Another thing that you'll really want is to get narco berries because narco berries are very useful later on in the game and they take a while to collect but one of the main things you're going to be trying to get is enough narco berries so that eventually you can tame an anklio which uh, you can then use to get lots and lots of pretty much all the resources you need to progress into the later parts of the game um, anklios are decent at collecting berries they're fantastic at collecting flint and metal and thatch um but yeah we'll, we'll talk about that in a later video on taming um so right now uh we're just going around collecting more resources uh we're gonna go back here and make some pants uh you'll notice the stats for each of these uh, pieces of armor are listed in the lower right hand corner underneath uh, a description of the item. You just go here and you quick click on the item and then click on equip. So now you'll see your sort of stats page right here. You can level up again. I'm just going to select some movements or all the movement speed that I can. Um, but you'll also notice that you've got your hypo and hyper. So hypo is for hot, hyper is for cold, uh, insulation. Very, very uh, important, especially later on in the game. Okay, you're gonna bring up engrams. You really, really want your water skin, you want a spear, thatch foundation, and um, I generally like getting the rest of the clothing items. Uh, an important thing, don't get the club, that's super useless early on in the game. But you do really want the simple bed, thatch wall, thatch door, and thatch roof. Um, notice that if you click on thatch door and you have not researched thatch, thatch door frame, it will research it automatically for you. That's super useful. Okay, now, pretty much everything from here on down is... Um, you know, kind of up to you, but you do want to get narcotic, mortar and pestle, storage box, bow, arrow, and um, the main thing you're trying to get to later on is trank arrows, which are going to be useful in taming things.
Okay, so now it's pretty much up to you uh, to keep going. Um, what you're going to get to eventually is pursuits. So pursuits are one of the best ways you can uh, progress in your art journey. Um, pursuits are really excellent because they give you experience and they also teach you how to play the game at the same time. Um, so I highly recommend following through with all of these pursuits, and I do really believe, okay, and here's Pulma Scorpius. You notice in the lower uh, bottom of the screen that your the little stars are starting to fill up. That means the scorpion is starting to attack you. So at this point, I'm going to just try up, and it got me. So this happens periodically. Um, I had not planned this, but, um, okay, so it will end up killing me, um, and, and that's okay. So, and this is, okay, this is an example of why you want to consider having your, um, so we're going to go up, okay, so you were killed by the Palm Scorpius. Um, this is also an example, though of why you might want to consider having your public chat off, because we just had someone talking about some very vulgar things. Um, I honestly don't care. I think it's just video game experience, but there's the option to turn that off. So you'll see you died where the red X is. Just respawn in a random location next to that. Um, Please have there be no, like, monsters right nearby that want to kill me. And just double click. And then uh, push forward to make you run. Um, and run to the location that you died. Yeah, unfortunately, when you first start out this game, you're going to do a lot of dying. Uh, it's just kind of one of the facts of Ark. Um, do not let this deter you. You will die. There's nothing bad that happens from dying except losing your stuff, which may seem bad at the start. But honestly, this is a survival game. And um, so now you'll see the red uh, little Harry Potter symbol in the lower part of the screen. That is your stamina bar. Um, just wait for it to fill up again. And then run forward. Uh, we're going to just try to run back and collect our stuff. Um, sometimes the scorpions tend to hang out where you died, uh, which is really annoying. Um, and then you just kind of are like, well, do I really need my stuff or can I just get new stuff? Uh, sometimes I do end up choosing to just kind of leave the stuff there and go get new stuff. Okay. So I, I'm out of stamina again. Stamina is one of those things which you will consider leveling that up, but I'd go for health, movement speed, or weight first. Um, and I'll explain more why in a later video. Okay, so now you see we can see where we died because there's that little green beam that goes up into the sky. Um, so that shows the location we died. It makes it very easy for you to go back and get your stuff um, because you know where your stuff is. Um, so we're just, as we're running along, one thing you could consider is just collecting stuff. So, uh, I know generally where to click, but just right click, um, d like double tap, uh, when you're running through some plants and, uh, it'll just start automatically collecting the plants for you. If you miss, you'll just start punching at thin air. Um, so this is one of the things which, you know, I've just played this game for so long now that I know exactly when to click, you know, but I do occasionally still miss click and you just keep running forward, run forward and I'm going to go here. Watch out. That scorpion is bound to be right next to this. Yeah, there it is. Now run up to it. Click this. Ah. Uh, Okay, run away a little bit. So in this case, I think I'm just going to leave the stuff there. That's totally normal. It's just part of the game. You know, the... Okay, yeah. 
yeah, so the, the scorpion got me away that way. But anyways, um, thanks for watching this first video. Please do like, subscribe, uh, comment on this video, and I will see you all in a future video. Thanks for watching.